Hey guys, what is going on? Diamond Dan Maverick is back with another video and we're gonna get into this pretty quick because we had a last minute event that was just announced to us that's only gonna last for four days. Originally, I thought this is a completely skippable event, but then looking in game, there's actually some justice medals in there. So we're gonna get into why this could still be skippable if you want to, but I mean, free stuff is free stuff. Just looking at the month long event really quick. So adding up all the points that we can get from the last events coming up for this month as well as like the current trend for the whole month the way that we're getting about 4300 daily and then on the fridays we have like that extra little batch that they give us right now without any of the other free dailies we should be about 734,000. that puts us about 16,000 below uh, the threshold to complete the whole month when I added in the rest of the month with the current trend Very surprisingly we'll actually be about 39,000 points above the last threshold So they haven't really done that in the past. So looking at that It's almost like you know again You could skip the battlefield ready event if you want to you can miss a decent amount of dailies You know you could even skip the rumble blitz like there are some things that you could miss and still complete the month so that is great. I feel like this is the first time they've ever done that significant amount of points. So kudos to them. But let's get into these events. So there was a last minute event that was announced. And I was thinking about skipping this. But then actually when I kind of looked at it, you know, my alliance mates wanted me to make a video for it. And then seeing that there was justice medals, it's like, let's go ahead and announce it. Um, I'm not going to go so hard into this. This is actually a little complicated so when you actually look at the uh, blog for this they're doing a new point system where there's actually a limit of the on the amount of points that you can get so they also did say that these points are stackable because you'll see battle and blitz you get 50 points and then battle and blitz you get 25 points cool thing is that you know you don't have to win it so i'm, I'm actually very happy about that so you will get 75 points per blitz battle but then once you hit the 48,000 threshold, it's only 25 points after that. And then they also have where you get points for using like the newer characters, but you only get it once. Um, and not everybody has all the new characters. And it's weird that they did that. I personally feel like these characters aren't selling. So they're trying to get people to buy them to then use them to get the points. Uh, there's also an open battle plan orb, which stated that there will be some in like you know your dailies that you can claim on the web store but i don't know how many we're getting and then of course using power cores so one thing that i notice is the next event also requires us to use power cores i'm not a fan of that because it kind of seems like that they want us to use our resources on a mediocre event right before we have to use the same resources on a major event for people to unlock the character so I don't know if this is a new strategy that they're doing uh but again looking at the points for this you know again it, you get a decent amount of points uh whether you want to do six rotations seven or grind really hard and do eight rotations again free stuff is free stuff so i think you only have to rotate like about a, well i put five and a half to get you know the full forty eight thousand. so anywhere between five and six is a decent amount for you to get those um i think there's a milestone that has us agent shards to get that milestone it's only like sixty nine thousand points so you know if you want to hit that one don't want to grind so much feel free uh but the battlefield ready milestone so this is on the web store uh breaking this down we have to get blitz credits and again are they impeding on our strategy because the last event where we had to get blitz credits we realized okay let's hold our milestone for monday you know and just claim it on wednesday again wednesday's event also requires us to claim blitz credits so you know are they forcing us to claim our milestones on monday so that we don't have them for wednesday that you know seems kind of shitty but if you want to you know after i broke down these numbers you're only doing about five rotations a day with all your other milestones that you're gonna get so there is a you know if you claimed if you did not claim your rumble blitz uh you yeah, some people are saying don't i already did but there's about three thousand points in there you could have done um your daily objectives for four days there's like 250 per day so a thousand uh the agent colson blitz on monday uh the premium orbs and red star you know you get blitz credits from those milestones 
I would probably recommend just blitz hard and then save the Agent Coulson blitz for Wednesday's event. It's not heavy blitzing. So, and again, if you want to grind really hard and get those, you know, training orbs, gold orbs, you know, again, this is a uh, event. So I'm not giving this so much focus in terms of you got to complete this. Cause again, like we saw, you could probably skip this and it's okay. But Wednesday is the main milestone. So this one is again they're not giving us all the information so we can't really plan that well so this one is going to require us to battle in war uh it's going to require us to collect something called symbiote samples as well and spend power core so milestone 25 is the last milestone for the walker shield 29 for the five red star winter soldier and 30 is the agent venom unlock so first we're going to look at the blitz milestone uh, this one is where you have to collect blitz credits to get the symbiote sample. So the way I broke it down is your dailies. If you don't collect, I'm sorry, if you do collect Monday for the previous event, you'll get about 9,660 from the rumble blitz, from the orb blitz, and then next week's character, the following week's character blitz. Um, if you want to save that Colson, that's another like, you know, over 2,000, but it looks like anywhere between a little over three less than four rotations a day i just said four i don't like doing that whole 3.7 rotations who the fuck is doing 3.7 rotations just do a rotation it takes like five minutes so four rotations a day is my recommendation uh with 36 out of 44 possible wins that should complete that entire milestone and get you 50,000 uh samples which is one sample is one point so 50,000 points your symbiote sabotage the main Back to the main milestone you do probably have to war hard now again as always this is war battle so you have to there has to be a definitive win or a loss you can't quit what's tricky about this is that it's not feasible for everyone to actually get 14 attacks so one strategy my alliance has done in the past is you know well a use as many refills as you can early on b usually like around three hours two hours to completion depending on if we're losing or winning uh we kind of tell everybody like hey use your refills get your attacks in you know we'll leave a few teams um if we're close to clearing but then it gets to a certain point where we're just like okay you had enough time fuck it clear it we we got to win this war so talk to your alliance mates on how you want to strategize that but as i always mention just do everything as early as you can get your attacks in um but if you do your 14 attacks a thousand points per attack three wars 42,000 so this is my issue those two combined 92,000 points easy you get the walker shield great to get to these milestones though you have to spend a decent amount of course the reason why i'm saying that now is because again yes we are getting free dailies in which i think they're giving us more symbiote uh symbiote samples and all that we don't know how many so as of now, just at face value, you're spending over 3,000 cores just to unlock Agent Venom. My recommendation for this event is to just do what you normally do. Use your cores for your energy, uh, your campaign energy. Use it for, because I think there is another campaign energy event as well. I'm not getting into that because there's nothing important about that. That's just a do what you want for that event because you got to collect, um, spend energy. You get red envelopes. There's a new store. You collect alliance credits, blah, blah, blah. Do what you do normally and spend your cores on your energy. Spend your cores on your, um, your ISO 8 energy. You know, if you're refreshing a store, just do that. Towards the end of this event, when all your wars are done, um, you collected all the samples, then and you got all your freeze, then gauge how many cores you actually have to spend. I think it's like four points per core. So wait towards the end of this event before you're spending heavy amounts of cores to see if you can unlock Agent Venom. Um, that's the that's the best strategy that I could give for this event. So. Like I said, there's some other good things in the blogs. Famine Scourge is coming. There's that random, like I said, the um, Chinese New Year event seems kind of fun. Not 100% necessary. Feel free to do that one. Um, but that is it for today's video. I hope I broke, th broke this down as best as I could. Um, I am still open to recommendations on how to do these videos. I continue to get them and they're very helpful. So I do appreciate that. But 
that is it for today take it easy good luck in next week's event and remember keep on shining